Hey Odoers, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about reserve packaging. So, packaging or product packaging are simply the packets of product. They can be pallets, box or other chipboards. So, we can manage the product packaging in two ways that can be fully reserve packaging and partial packaging. So, let's consider an example. So, we can say that we have 10 quantity of pencil which we are putting in a box. So if you are setting the reserve packaging method as partial packaging and when a customer places order for 5 pencil, we can reserve the product. Actually we have 10 quantity of product but we can reserve 5 quantity of the product for the customer. But if we are choosing the reserve packaging as fully packaged, then we cannot sell with a 5 quantity of product or we cannot reserve 5 quantity of product for a customer. So this can be easily managed in Odo 16 and the fully packaging method is uh, used in case of a wholesale shop and partial packaging is mostly used by a retail shop. So let's see how can we manage the reserve packaging method in Odo 16 inventory module. In order to manage with the reserve packaging method, you can just get into the inventory module and just go to the configuration settings and you can search for the packaging in the configuration settings and we have to enable the packaging and here you can find the product packaging that can be enabled both in sales and purchase so that you can sell and purchase uh, products in a multiple of unit and you can also enable the product packaging under the inventory okay now let's see how this can be managed so in order to manage the reserve packaging we have to consider a product category so you can just consider the product category from the configuration menu where we can find the product uh, categories and I'm going to choose the product category as all. So here, as we have enabled the uh, product packaging, we will get a field called reserve packaging that we have two options that is reserve only full packaging and reserve partial packaging. So if you're choosing the reserve only full packaging, then this will not reserve the partial packaging. That means if customers order two pallets of 10 unit each and you have only 16 in stock then uh, the only 10 will be reserved there if you are setting the reserve packaging as reserve partial packaging then this allows the partial packaging and if a customer is ordered two pallets of 10 unit each and you have only 16 in stock then 16 will be reserved now let's see the working of the reserve packaging method for both options so currently I'm going to choose the first option that is reserve only full packaging. So you can save this and we have to consider the product. So let's go to the products and let's choose the products. Here you can find pen as the product and you can uh, see it is set to storable product and we have zero as the quantity of the product and you can set the sales price and you can see we have set the uh, product category as all and it has a reserve packaging as uh, fully packaging now we can create a packaging for this in order to create a packaging you can just choose the inventory tab and here we can find the packaging and i'm going to create a packaging that is a uh, yeah pack of 10 which means this pack will have 10 quantity of pen so i need to use this pack both in sales and purchase so that i'm enabling this field and you can also set a unit over here so here we are using the default unit as uh, that is the unit of measurement which is the unit and afterwards you can save this now we have to keep a 16 quantity of product in the stock so in order to do that you can just move on to the purchase module and we have to purchase a 16 quantity of the product okay so i'm going to purchase 16 quantity of pen and here i'm going to fill all the details such as vendor and i will be choosing my product which is pen and we have to purchase 16 quantity of um yeah pen so i'm going to purchase that and here you can set the price of the product so i'm going to set the unit price of the product as five and you can find the price of the product over here and afterwards you can just save this and confirm the order so as we confirm the order the next step is to receive the product in order to keep that product in the stock 
So let me click on receive product and in order to set the product in the stock, we have to set the quantities and you can just click on validate. So that the product is now moved to the stock and under valuation, you can find the product um, in the stock. So here you can see the moved quantities and all. Now let's see how the reserve uh, only full packaging is works when a customer places an order. Okay, so you can just move on to the sales module and in the sales module, we can just create a new quotation. Okay, let me fill out the details of the customer. So let the customer be, yeah, let's uh, choose bath events and we can choose the product which is pen. So here we can see that uh, our customer is going to place an order for 20 quantity of pencil. So as the customer tried to purchase 20 quantity of pencil, order will automatically set the packaging quantity and the name of the packet. Okay, so here you can see that the packaging number of uh, quantity is automatically configured here because we know that in one packet there are 10 quantity of pen. And here uh, we have given the name of the packing that is pack of 10. And uh, here we know that we have only 16 in stock. So as the customer confirms the order, we cannot reserve the 16 quantity of the product because we have chosen the reserve packaging as fully packaging. So here when the customer tries to place the order, you can see as the customer confirms the order uh, and when you just move on to the delivery, here you can see that we can only reserve 10 quantity of product because we have chosen reserve only full packaging and we know that one packet contain 10 quantity of product. So order will only cont I mean, uh, just reserve the package of product because we have set the option in such a way. So even if uh, the uh, customer places for 20 quantity of product and we have 16 quantity in stock, we can only reserve 10 quantity of product and this happens in case of reserve only full packaging. Now let's discuss about the reserve partial packaging. Okay, so in order to discuss with the partial packaging, we can just consider the product which is um, pencil. So let's search for the product pencil and let me consider my product. Yeah, and here you can set a uh, the inventory like you can set the packaging so you can set the packaging as pack of 10 which means that uh, a packet will have 10 pencil and you can just save the changes as well as uh, set the price of the uh, pencil okay and currently we have zero quantity of, pro I mean, uh, quantity in the stock. And let's change the product category into reserve partial packaging. So as we choose a reserve partial packaging uh, that allows a partial packaging, that is even if a customer orders two pallets of 10 quantity each and you have only 16 in stock, then that 16 can be reserved. Okay, so we have uh, chosen reserve packaging as partial packaging. Now let's uh, purchase 16 quantity of product. So in order to make the purchase, you can just move on to the purchase module and let's choose the um, vendor and let's purchase the product, which is pencil. So here you can see we have the product pencil. So ensure that the pencil that we are going to choose is the right one. Okay. Now, uh, I need to purchase 16 quantity of pencil and I'm going to keep that in my stock. Uh, currently, I don't need to apply any taxes so, uh, so that I'm ignoring that. And you can just confirm the order and receive the products and let's set the quantities in the stock and let's validate the process. Finally, we have just kept 16 quantity of pencil in the stock. Now, let's move on to the sales module. And my customer, um, yeah, Joel has uh, made an order for pencil and he is trying to make the order for the pencil with 20 quantity. And 
you can see that as the customer tries to purchase 20 quantity order will automatically configure the quantity like the packaging uh, quantity that is we uh, require the packaging quantity as two and packing uh, name will be automatically configured here and we know that we have only 16 quantity of product in the stock and um, the customer is trying to purchase for 20 product i mean 20 quantity of pencil will it it, it it be possible will it be possible to reserve the quantity of the product yes it is possible because we have set the reserve packaging as partial packaging so if the customer tries to confirm the order he can confirm the order and um, here what do we show that as we have only 16 quantity in this stock that 16 quantity will be reserved here okay so uh, here the customer has just demanded for 20 quantity so here a partial packaging also can be done okay so the uh, order will automatically configure the reserve uh, i mean reserve the the number of quantity that we have in stock okay and we can set that quantities and make delivery to the customer so here we have set the quantity and we can just uh, validate this and make the delivery so if you want to just create a back order you can just create that and make the delivery so i'm not creating any back order and just confirming the order and let's make the delivery and we have 10. so uh, this is how we manage with the reserve packaging method in odoo so it's very uh, easy to manage with the reserve packaging that is fully uh, reservation and partial reservation so let's recall what is uh, fully reservation packaging and partial reservation packaging so if you are choosing only fully reserved packaging then that will not allow partial packaging that is if a customer orders two pallets of 10 quantity each and you have only 16 in stock then the uh, only 10 will be reserved there if you are setting the reserve packaging as partial packaging then that will allow a partial packaging and if a customer is orders two pallets of 10 quantity that is 10 unit each and you have only 16 in stock then we can easily reserve that 16 quantity so we can buy and sell the products in a packet which would allow you to track the proper inventory of the product so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video